Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. We're back in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, uh, Gotham Central, Comics and Collectibles. So, we're going to start off with the new comic books first. And we've got Action Comics 999. You know what's next. Anyway, this is going to wrap up a storyline here. We got uh, Superman and Booster Gold back from the future and all sorts of crazy alternate timelines, but we still got the problem with General Lane. He was stuck over in uh, La Gambia, so let's see what happens there. Astonishing X-Men, issue number nine. We gotta see, uh, look, Professor X is back, but is he? Is it really him? There's, there's some really weird things happening with him and his new Phantom X body. So, also, we've been waiting for this one. This cover, 684 of Avengers. This is No Surrender, part 10 of 16. So, the Immortal Hulk is back. The first full appearance, I guess. The cameo was just in the previous, and then there's a couple of hints in a couple previous before that. So... We're going to see what happens. What does the Immortal Hulk actually bring? It also looks like there's a bit of an origin or like what exactly happened while he was gone. Anyway, we've got some damnation going on here. So Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, issue number 15. This is a part of Damnation. There's two crossovers this week for the Damnation storyline. And uh, what do we got here? Bonehead. This is, okay, so Top Cow. All right, this is really good so far, all right? This is, you want a parkour superhero? We got one. I think this may be our first one. Anyway, so Bonehead, he's got this cybernetic mask on that allows him to do all sorts of crazy things he otherwise wouldn't, and he's not the only one. All right, now, I do not currently review this, but Charles Soule's Curse Words, I'm hearing a lot of good things about curse words. I know, it doesn't sound quite right, right? It's all just a pejorative. Regardless, hearing good things, I may have to start on this pretty soon. Ah, the Despicable Deadpool, 296. So, Captain America versus Deadpool. We're going to set things straight. Cap is planning on bringing him in, and usually Cap gets done what he wants to get done. Let's see if he can make that stick with Deadpool. All right. Batman Eternal, part one, from uh, Batman's Detective Comics, 976. The Bat family has been destroyed. This is the first story arc after Batwoman's betrayal, and is it an ultimate betrayal? All right, here's the second part of uh, the Damnation crossover. Doctor Strange, issue 387. So, <laughs> Doctor Strange has uh, stricken a deal with, uh, with, with Mephisto, played cards, got his legs broken. That's what usually happens in Vegas, right? <laughs> what, stays, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, unless it's broken bones. You take those back with you. Falcon, issue number six. So we got a brand new storyline here also. Looks like there's some bow chicka wow wow action with Misty Knight. They actually circled it. <laughs> But, uh, so Misty Knight's returning and Vampires in Brooklyn. I don't know, has anybody actually seen that Eddie Murphy movie way back in the day? <laughs> so, we go from, literally, from demons to, to uh, the infernal vampires. So, The Flash, issue number 42, the end of the race. Guys, Flash War is coming. Barry Allen does not have his powers. Wally West is genuinely the fastest man alive. Let's see, and, and, and Gorilla Grodd has the speed force and the negative speed force is, is, is over here with Mera. Let's see what exactly happens as we go forward. Zod's will continues in issue number 40 of Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern. So the ring shall break him? I believe it, because that's Hal Jordan's ring that he made out of his own willpower, and Kyle Rayner's trying to control this thing. Meanwhile, his body's already broken, like literally, legit broken. So <laughs> we're going to see what happens if uh, Hal Jordan's able to get his ring back on, uh, in a good way or not. Um, Infidel, issue number one. I'm curious, and I'm going to leave it at that. Judas, issue number four of four out of Boom Studios. Guys, just this is, I just want to remind everybody, this is a redemption story, and this may be the ultimate redemption story. Let's see, I, I have a feeling I'm going to wish that this was canonical. Guys, Mr. Miracle, issue number seven of 12. This is just the best. It's been the best comic book going so far. Turns out that Big Barda is pregnant, and now the femmes show up. <laughs> it's just, this, this can't go good. This can't go good. Uh, the Fate of the Four is about to be revealed in Fantastic Two, <laughs> The Thing, and Human Torch, uh, Marvel's two and one. This is proving to be an absolutely fantastic story. Chip Zardowski, man, anybody who thought that it wasn't going to work, I told you it would. Now, I want to hear it. I want to hear it, Professor Bill. You were right. Anyway, there's another one coming up. There's another Zardowski coming up this week. New Mutants, issue number one of six. I believe this is a six-parter. This is pretty good. This, this, I saw the previews. I saw the first six or seven pages. 
this looks like it's gonna be about as violent as the New Mutants have ever been. I'm just saying there may have been a decapitation. All right, moving on. Ed Brisson, Old Man Logan, issue number 36. Uh, this is starting a new storyline. Now, Wolverine proper is back. The rest of the world may not know it yet, but he is back. So what's going to happen with Old Man Logan? Not sure. Can't wait to find out. We got a guy walking around with uh, one renewed hand. The adamantium, I got to know where the adamantium claw is. Ed Brisson needs to re reveal where that adamantium, the other adamantium hand is. And I told you there's going to be some more Zardoski. So Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, Issue number 301. Just, if you're not reading it, you're wrong. That's it. Calling a cop. Issue number 222 of The Punisher. The War Machine. So, we already have a hint of what's going on in the future. Um, Punisher is going to be able to keep this machine, the, the War Machine armor, but is he going to want to return it when, when his time is up, when his mission is over? It doesn't look like it. So some heroes are going to have to come after him. I'm just saying, this is the lead up to that. Sideways, issue number two. This is one of my two favorite of the new superheroes that the uh, uh, that Rebirth has spawned over in DC, the, the Marvel version, <laughs> the, the DC version of certain Marvel heroes. So this is the Spider-Man version. And Sideways is proving pretty interesting. I'm not so sure about that big golden freaky guy in the back, this Chrono, Chronotron guy, but we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, Star Trek Discovery, The Light of Hollis. Issue number three. If you're watching Discovery currently, this is a side story. This is canonical. This is happening in the background. What happened with the uh, the Klingons? Where did uh, where did their new history come from? This is actually explaining everything. Uh, Charles Soul. Charles Soul is killing it, man. And Star Wars Darth Vader. This is volume two of Darth Vader. Issue number thirteen. All I'm saying is I saw the preview issues for or the preview pages for what happens in here and it's ruthless. Does he get his revenge on Obi-Wan? It kind of looks like he does, but we know that it can't, right? We know that can't be. So why is Obi-Wan on uh, Mustafar again with with Darth Vader? Not Anakin, Darth Vader. And another another Star Wars Thrawn. I come on. <laughs> If you read issue one, you're buying issue two through six. You know you are. If not, go back and get issue one. This is out now. All right. I just saw this. Didn't know this was coming out. Uh, so, so the system of the down. Anyway, I don't know how far this is going to go. I don't know what they're going to do with this, but the system of the down, man. Uh, okay. Trinity, issue number 19. Unfortunately, this amazing story is coming to an end. He's, uh, he's in uh, Sakaris with Warlord and Demios. They're actually coming face to face right now with Demios. Mind you, they all have some kind of a flaw happening. Batman's flaw is that he, for he refuses to admit that he's actually still a human without superpowers. Weapon X, issue number 15. This might be the best, one of the best stories that Greg Pak is doing so far, and this is starting a new storyline where apparently Old Man Logan is leaving and Sabretooth gets to take over the, the leadership role. Okay, let's see if they're going to actually handle Sabretooth properly in here. We'll see. X-Men Blue, issue number 23. I've been wondering what happens. We got the uh, the other guys up in space dealing with the, the Star Jammers and the Clintar, the, the symbiotes and Killer Thrill and all this crazy nonsense. But what happened to Bloodstorm and, and Jim, Jimmy Howlett? Uh, not Jimmy Howlett, Jimmy... Um, Hudson. <laughs> well, we're going to find out finally in this issue. Also, Cry Havoc. Cry Havoc. And uh, I am not reading this, but a lot of people told me the issue one of Xena was really good. I think this is volume four. This is out of Dynamite Comics. So it may be the case. Either way, giving a heads up, this is out. I may go back and read this. Uh, finally, still in comic books, is Venom Lethal Protector. Uh, Venom Shiver and Venom Carnage. So this is the True Believers series. Guys, these are fantastic stories. Uh, maybe you've read them before. If you haven't, either way, instead of opening up your old uh, comics where you're afraid of actually ruining them because, you know, they're signed and maybe you, you got the CBR on them, either way, one dollar, one lousy dollar, these are yours, done and done. All right, from this point on, let's see what kind of collectibles come with Gotham Central's comics. All right, so I'm seeing a hand-painted predator. Uh, it kind of looks like a bobblehead. I don't know how I feel about this right now. So let's move on. We got some Spider-Man action over here. We got a couple of these guys, these, these Q-figs. All right, this doesn't look bad. The Wonder Woman looks nice. 
What's this back here? Oh, Star-Lord. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna admit, that looks really cool. And Pinky and the Brain. Look, it's both of them. They're not even gonna make us buy them separately. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, now let's see what kind of craziness we got. We got, oh, guys, we got the chess pieces. Oh yeah, these are these are the less expensive ones too. So we got Cyborg, I knew this one was coming up. Red Tornado, I think Professor Bill's gonna have to do an explained in a minute for a Red Tornado. A criminally underused character. Uh, squ oh, that's Squirrel Girl, okay, that makes sense. Ah, oh, look, I see Ripley, Lieutenant Ripley, yep. And uh, what is this over here? Okay, I see them over here also. So we've got a Harley Quinn. I think this is just back in. I'm not sure. I think this is just back in. Also, for the sake of conversation over here, I'm seeing the Superpowers edition of Harley Quinn, which is interesting because Harley Quinn wasn't in the original... Uh, actually, there's two volumes of the original Superpowers, and they were not... She was not in existence at the time, but... Harley Quinn with a big boomstick and a, a pop gun, a pop cork gun, and a rocket launcher. I'm not, uh, excuse me, a rocket pack. I'm not complaining. Okay, so back over here, I'm seeing a kaiju. <laughs> uh, what we got here? Oh, well, I thought this was Walking Dead. Nope, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. Oh, look, a camera looking right back at me. And little accessories. That's not bad. A little uh, switchblade and the the, ra the straight edge razor. Okay, I'm impressed. On top of that, if I didn't already have one of my favorite versions, this right here would be the one that I would be picking up. Look at Venom right here. This is a Marvel Select. This is amazing. Look, it comes with two separate heads, comes with some extra pieces in the back there. Oh, look at this. They're going to be making Barbarian Hulk and Rhino also. Actually, I think Rhino's already out. Either way, not too shabby. Not too shabby. What's this Star Wars I'm seeing over here? Ah, okay, cool. Oh, and I see a Jawa. I am playing a Star Wars game currently, and I'm playing a Jawa. What is this over here? Who is, oh, this looks like some Arkham Asylum. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Dark Knight Joker. Why so serious, damn it? Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. He comes with every accessory you could possibly imagine. It looks like he's also coming with a suitcase for them. Not sure either way. Dude, nice. Okay. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Okay. Um, is this a spider buggy or something like that? <laughs> spider cycle? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. It comes with a Spider-Man. It comes with a missile launching. I guess this is from the uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon that's currently out. Oh, wow. It's more than just a buggy. It actually goes into a full form arachnid. Okay. That's cool. Okay. I don't know what this is. X Collectibles. Previews. Oh, oh, look at this. This is Wolverine. Okay, I saw some of these previous. Oh, and it actually comes with the Muramasa blade. It's not red, so it's it's confusing. But it's actually got the base. That's right there with the, the big X is actually the base, and it comes with the stand to actually be able to stand them up. Okay, I like these. These are actually like a full set. Can't go wrong with these. And uh, <laughs> a little chibi-looking uh, Spider-Man and Mary Jane. All right, cool. All right, and we got a bunch of little Mega Men uh, figures here, little vinyls. I'm digging it. I guess they're all, you gotta guess which one. Okay. Golden Girl, James Bond. I'm seeing the pops. You got your pops? Starfire, Cyborg. There's Beast Boy. <laughs> Eugene from The Walking Dead. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a uh, Friday 13th and what is that? Pixelated. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of, they got the Ninja Turtles here, Pixelated. Oh, and Freddy. Not too shabby. Freddy. Pippin Took from Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't know who some of these guys are. Oh, Sasha. I remember when she died. Papa Ross with a raccoon. Yeah, because I remember that episode. Um, what else we got? Oh, the Will from Saga. Nice. And Lion Cat from Saga, too. Okay, this is pretty cool. Prince William, are you kidding me? And Kate. Okay, okay. Kind of cool. Anyway, guys, it looks like that's just about it. All right, listen, if you're not at Com uh, Gotham Central, Comics and Collectibles in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, it must be because you can't get across the border. In which case, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> I got 99 problems and a passport ain't one. That being said, I want you to try and make your pilgrimage up here and check this place out. Either way, you can always check them out on Facebook. You, uh, also, don't forget to check out, they've got the, uh, um, the, the sketching contest coming out, the second annual sketching contest. So all that money goes to charity. Uh, check out the video for more. Anyway, guys, that's it for me, Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.
Hey guys, don't go anywhere just yet. Hold on, I forgot to mention uh, Earth One Green Lantern. That's out also, so make sure you stop by and pick this one up too. This is gonna be an important one. You know that, right? All right, guys, now I'm leaving.